In this video, we will modify our geometry to include more obstructive Fetty plaques. We will again duplicate our first geometry. Let's call this one geometry with plaque number two. Again, let's open Design Modeler. Let's first make the semicircles as shown in the previous video. Okay, uh, we will now create a different type of fatty plaque using a tool we haven't used before, the spline tool. But before doing so, we shall first create construction points to help guide our line. In the draw menu, we select construction points, it's located down here, and we'll insert our two points at the extremities of our new plaque. So we'll put one right here, and the other one here. Um, let's now specify dimensions to make sure they're located at the right location. So we'll go into dimensions and click the length distance tool. Uh, we'll select the two points and select these two points. So these should be um, three millimeters from the corner. Okay, we'll need one more construction point. This one will be a bit harder to do. Uh, we'll first create a line to make sure that it's uh, located at the right location. Um, so we'll go into draw, we'll use line, and uh, we'll start at this point and make it perpendicular to, uh, to that line. And we can see there's a little icon right here uh, which uh, tells us that it's perpendicular. I'll click here. And now we will add a construction point on that line. Um, let's just say here. And let's make sure it's at the right location. So we'll go into dimension, um, like distance. And this should be one millimeter. Okay, we're uh, now ready to use the spline tool. So we're going to draw spline, which is located down here, and then select uh, our three points. Okay, uh, so now uh, at this point we need to right click and select open end. All right, nice. So. Uh, uh, now it's we gotta remove a few lines. There are quite a bit extra lines that we don't want. So we'll go into um, modify and use the trim tool. Uh, we'll get rid of uh, this line right here, this one, this one, and here we'll take out these two, these two, and these two. Okay, we're now ready to create our surface from the sketch. So uh, we'll first select our sketch. And again, we'll go in concept, surface, and sketches. Yeah, that looks good. Apply. And then click generate. That looks good. And don't remember to save. And you can close the design modeler.